name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening all and welcome to this, our office of evening prayer. And we are so glad that you could join us this evening. As most of you know that today we celebrate All Souls Day, or better, the commemoration of the faithful departed. And as we look up back upon this year, These past few months have, or year, this past year has been very hard on many of us. As many of us have lost loved ones. And so today we thank God that we are able as a church to remember all those that have passed on. And so I invite you before I start evening prayer to pray with me. This prayer that I've lifted comes from the Diocese of False Bay. Almighty God, we thank you for those who have gone before us, pioneers in faith and ministry, thought, word, and deed. We thank you for the example of living a Christ-like love, life, Help us, Lord, to receive and understand your gospel so that we may find light in this darkness, faith in our doubts, and comfort for one another in your saving words. We pray also for those who mourn. Comfort them in their sorrow and fill the emptiness in their hearts with the presence of your love. Increase their faith and strengthen their hope. We pray also for ourselves in pilgrimage through life. Strengthen us and keep us faithful in your service and fill our hearts with hope for heaven. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord. Let us worship and praise him. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I invite you to turn to page 55 in your prayer books. As we say paragraph 47 together, come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who by night stand in the house of our God, lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And so, dear friends, what a wonderful opportunity we have of throwing ourselves at God's feet as we bring to him all those things that would weigh us down, that would take away our peace and our joy. And so let us therefore call to mind and confess our sins knowing that God is a just and faithful God and that will, he will forgive us. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Our appointed psalm is Psalm 89, and we will only read from verse 1 to verse 15. Psalm 89, if you'd like to follow, we are on page 715. Page 715, Psalm 89, verses 1 to 15. Lord, I will sing forever of your loving kindness. My mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I have said of your loving kindness that it is built forever. You have established your faithfulness in the heavens. The Lord said, I have made a covenant with my chosen. I've sworn an oath to my servant David. I will establish your line forever and build up your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and let your faithfulness be sung in the assembly of the holy ones. For who amidst the clouds can be compared to the Lord? Or who is like the Lord among the sons of heaven? O God, to be feared in the counsel of the holy ones, great and terrible above all that are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is like you? Your power and your faithfulness are all about you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves surge, you still them. You crushed Rahab like a carcass and scattered your enemies by your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, so also is the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Mount Hermon shall sing of your name. Mighty is your arm. Strong is your hand and your right hand is lifted high. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Loving kindness and faithfulness attend your presence. Happy the people who know the triumphant shout who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is written in Matthew chapter 13, and I read from verse 44. Matthew chapter 13, reading from verse 44. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was laid down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up onto the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood these things, Jesus asked? Yes, they replied. He said to them, Therefore every teacher of the law who has been instructed about the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of a house who brings out his storeroom new treasures 
as well as old. Here ends the lesson. Dear friends, this evening we hear again what the kingdom of God is about. And as we consider the reading this evening again, we are reminded that the kingdom of God is the ultimate value in life. Nothing can compare with the joy and the fulfillment and the significance of serving Christ. And so in serving Christ, dear friends, we again are reminded that you and I are to surrender everything which might be worthwhile to us so that we may be part of God's kingdom. And I guess that's where many of us fall or struggle because it is so easy to hold on to whatever we make a treasure of. Everything that we give value to, it is always difficult to get rid of that thing. But Jesus calls you and I again, my dear friends, to get rid of that, to give it up, put it aside, and to follow him. For only in Jesus there is fulfillment. Only in Jesus there is peace. Only in Jesus there is hope for you and me. And so, friends, I trust and pray that you and I will continue to make Jesus our all. That indeed, that once we've found him, that we will hold on to him, for he is worth it. He is far more precious in gold or silver. May God bless us as we continue to serve him, as we continue to be obedient to him, as we build his kingdom here on earth. So let us pray. Before we pray, we say the song of Mary together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has caused down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our forebears, to Abram and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And so we say the baptismal creed together, paragraph 65. I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world, 
I believe and trust in his son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that all are members in their words and actions proclaim the holiness of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all elected and appointed leaders, that they may always strive to work for peace and justice amongst all people. So, Lord, we thank you for the elections yesterday. And as deliberations take place and counting take place, we pray, Lord, for continued peace and calm, that all will work for justice and righteousness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who face hardship in body, mind, and spirit, that they will be inspired by the lives of the saints. We think of those who are ill, those who are suffering, those who are in pain. This evening, dear Lord, we think of those that who appear on our view leaflet. We lift them to you as we pray, Lord, your peace, your healing upon them. We also pray for Father Michael, our rector, as he attends at this very moment to those who are ill. We pray for peace and healing and your touch. as we lift Ruth to you. We pray for our parish community that in our hunger and thirst for what is right, we may be peacemakers and show love and mercy to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, for those who are sick, and especially those who have no one to pray for them. And so, Lord, this evening we lift Irene Forbes to you as we pray your touch upon her. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer on account of their faith that they may receive blessings in this world and an eternal reward with all the saints of heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Ever-living God, we are gathered as your family to praise your name and honor your holy ones. In your kindness, answer our prayers. And the prayers which the saints offer on our behalf, we ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Eternal God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. So lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and dangers of the night, for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. Dear friends, I trust and pray that you will have a peaceful night's rest. Goodbye.